At least, I mean, your team just kept pushing, kept playing, and they, you seemed fine. I thought, uh, in comparing, comparing it to Montreal, yes, both both nights, uh, guys were very intent. Um, you know, the compete was high, the pace was high, and you, you know, when we talked about that a lot, when you have those two things, things usually work out for the better. Do you feel like offensively that you guys are really doing a lot of good things the last several games, just not necessarily getting rewarded uh, more than you, maybe you deserve to or feel you do? Yeah, when you have uh, the three stars of the game and two of them are goaltenders, that tells you about the game. Both teams generated uh, you know, chances, and we generated, again, uh, a lot more than we, uh, probably, we probably should have should have had a couple more. But that's the way it goes. As long as you have enough to win, um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that, and uh, that was the case. What have you liked about the way that the group has sort of just stuck with it through the last, you know, as they're trying to just have those games where they break through uh, offensively? Well, that you said it. That's they stuck with it, and that's what I like. Um, certainly, one one component. But um, you know, the intent upon winning from the outset, uh, playing the game more often the right way. Um, and building through the game, so so uh, you know again, um, uh, just the process, sticking to the process and dial into the process um, has been uh, you know another level of that group, which is great of our group. Two goals with guys in front of the net tonight. Did you like what you're seeing in that area tonight? Uh, yes, I do. And, and uh, the other night was was similar with guys crashing the net and going to the net and. You know that's always the, the the reflex when you don't score is everybody talks about you know not getting to the net enough and really it's about getting to the net more and more and at the right times and uh, you know I thought obviously uh, we're in better sync with that and and uh, we generated because of it. Do you think that was Peyton's best game of the season? He's had a lot of best games. Uh, they they keep they're starting to accumulate and. and um, you know, I can attribute that to his work ethic, uh, his his uh, building an incredible foundation of uh, base of, of situational awareness, um, uh, knowing how to keep the game simple and work from a simple base. Um, you know, he, he's just uh, he's put so much work in, and we're starting to see that come. Uh, you know, to come to fruition, really, and and we've watched it with lots of players over the last couple of years. It's a process, and you know, he's coming out the other end of that process, and uh, it is fun to see. Don, you played the last three minutes and thirty seconds, had a six on five, defending a six on five. It seemed like there was always a skate or a stick or a leg or something in the way. Did you like the way your team defended those three minutes and 30 seconds? Yeah, we've been very comfortable in defensive situations and more and more comfortable, certainly, um, you know, as, as these guys have evolved their careers. Um, and no stress. Um, again, it's, it's a situation that's occurred over and over. We've been in this situation um, protecting leads going into the third. and. And our guys have done a really good job of that, uh, getting more and more comfortable doing it and being in those situations. So, and especially down, when, you know, six on five. So, um, obviously happy with that, um, and happy with the progress, and, and happy with the confidence and poise in the group of the group in that area. How did the dads do in pregame on this one? The dads were outstanding. You know, we uh, Tim Clifton, uh, Connor's dad, was set the tone the other day. He followed it up again today, wanting Tim Clifton hockey. Um, and you guys saw Tim Clifton hockey, just so you know. Um, but no, they were outstanding. Um, I think energizing, obviously, um, nice for me personally uh, to get to know them better. And, and uh, you know, they've, they've raised some, some great people that they should be very proud of. And I'm proud to be part of, uh, part of the whole uh, group here as well. I asked Connor, can you get them to stay or 2-0 and with them? Yeah, no, I, I feel the same way. Well, let's keep them. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, I would have no problem with that. Uh, again, another good crew, good crew of people.